Animal Girl here, back with another one of my comparison videos. And this comparison video is one that I have been thinking of doing for a while now, actually several weeks, but have not because I was actually debating whether or not to wait a few more weeks or months to get this one out, but then I decided what the heck, I'm going to get it out. Basically, what it touches on, has uh, we've already discussed. There's really only one spoiler, and it's not a big one. So, this episode, this comparison video is on Avatar The Last Airbender, the TV show versus the movie. Now, as I stated earlier, this is one I was actually thinking, this is a comparison video I was actually thinking of doing since my movie talk video on The Last Airbender. I was actually, when I did the video on The Last Airbender, considering doing this comparison video and waiting until I was done with my TV talk reviews on the first season of Avatar The Last Airbender. Then when I finished it, I thought, well, wait a minute, they mentioned some things in the movie that actually do not come up until the third season of Avatar The Last Airbender, or at least one big difference between the show and the movie, so I was considering waiting until I was completely done with Avatar The Last Airbender, um, or my Avatar The Last Airbender TV talk videos before I did this video. But then, as I stated before, the big comparison between the TV show and the movie are going to be focused mainly on season one. There's only one big spoiler within um, the TV show that is from another season, that's season three, and it's not even that big of a spoiler. So that kind of led me to decide to do this comparison video now. So, let's get on with the comparisons. Okay, there are five big differences between the TV show and the movie. And as I stated before, only one of them is really from a different season, and that's season three. And it's not even a really big thing. That's why I was okay with doing this comparison video now while I'm still about half when I'm when I'm only about halfway through season two. Now, first off, be, the big comparison between the movie, one of the comparison differences between the movie and the TV show is that in the TV show we go on a lot of little adventures throughout the season, while in the movie we're focused more on the bigger mission. Now. Granted, there are two big, there's actually one big reason for this. First off, in the TV show, they have X amount of weeks to get to the North Pole and start angst training and waterbending and whatnot. So they can go on a lot of little side adventures. And that helps bolster... Aang's reputation as fighting against the Fire Nation and helping the Water Tribe and the Earth Kingdom more when they get to the end of the season. Now, in the movie, they only have roughly two hours to get there, so they did have to cut out some of the unimportant things, such as their adventures in o Omashu, um... Kyoshi Island, and a lot of their other little adventures they had to actually cut out because they just could not put everything in the movie and keep it at a two-hour length. It's much like when you adapt a book to a movie for to a movie front, um, like with the Hunger Games or the Twilight Saga or the Harry Potter series, they had to actually cut a lot out of those stories to get them to fit within the time frame that they wanted to keep the movie at. And the same thing's basically happening here. They had to cut a lot of the series um, little the series little adventures out of the plot line to 
keep confine the movie to the allotted length they wanted. They couldn't make the movie six hours or otherwise, you know, people just wouldn't sit and watch it because it would have been too long and they couldn't have divided it up between two separate movies. Well, I guess they could, but I don't think they felt there was much of a plot line in that aspect. Okay, second, and this is one of the tribes. Um, we know from the TV show that the world of Avatar is very diverse. The different nations represent different types of people from within our own world. So one of the big, di but one of the big differences here is with the Water Tribe. Now, in the TV show, the Water Tribe is actually based off of the Inuit hunters. And I know I misspelled Inuit there, and I apologize for that. And we know this not only based on how they live and the clothing they wear, but by their skin color. The people of the water tribes have very dark skin, much like the Inuit hunters in our world do, or the Inuit people in our world do. Now, in the movie, they're actually fair-skinned, which is a big difference in the portrayal of the race. Or, not the race, the um, group of people. Thirdly, in the TV show, and this is the spoiler from the third season, but again, it's not a big spoiler. In the TV show, we learn that the Avatar is allowed to marry. Now, in the movie, we are specifically told that the Avatar is not allowed to marry. And that is two big contrasts. And it also leads into our fourth difference between the show and the movie. And that is why Aang ran away. Now, in the TV show, Aang ran away because he was going to be taken away from Monk Gyatso. Now, in the movie, he runs away because he, couldn't, he was told he couldn't have a normal life. Lastly, in the TV show, Yue's parents are alive. We know that they're alive, or at least that her father's alive, because we actually see him in the show. And he plays an active part in just devising the strategy to protect the Northern Water Tribe from the invading Fire Nation. In the movie, we don't see her parents, so we're actually led to believe that they are not alive. And one big thing that leads to this is that while narrating the movie, Katara says that the Water Tribe is ruled by a princess. If Yue's parents were alive, I don't think this line would have been put in there. So it's safe to say that her parents are probably not alive in the movie. Okay, now, which one do I like better? That's a tough call, because both have very good aspects on their own, and I've done reviews on both. I'm actually currently still doing a review on Avatar The Last Airbender, the TV show, as of the posting of this video. Now, in the TV show, I love the drawings. Um, is it as elaborate as some of the other animated TV shows I've seen? No, but considering the target audience is kids, it's actually really good, and they do make the distinctions between the different nations within this world. I also really like the mini adventures within the movie, or in, within the TV show. I feel that makes the TV show, and it allows us to see the characters grow um, throughout the series. I also love the bending. Um, the different bendings require different poses and different stance, and I just love how they do it. Now, in the movie, I love the plot line, how it's direct and to the point. For a movie, I felt that is very good. We don't need a lot of little side adventures in a move in the movie. You just need to get to the point. I also really like the special effects. Due to the fact that this the movie was actually live action, they needed to do a lot of a special effects for the bending, for the avatar state, for the creatures like the dragon and 
Appa and Momo. Um, they had to do a lot of special effects for that to make it work. I also loved the costumes. The costumes, even if the people wearing them didn't represent the people from the show, the costumes and the makeup, particularly the makeup for Aang, definitely did. And they actually do more detail on Aang's tattoos in the movie than they did in the TV show. Um, that's not really a comparison, but I did want to, well, I guess it is, but it wasn't one I really wanted to bring up as a point because I felt it wasn't really necessary, but it is something I did want to mention. So, there are a lot of things about both that I like, and the fact that I did a review on both of them, the movie and the TV show, um, shows that I like both of them. And in fact, the movie was the reason I started watching the TV show. I had not seen the TV show prior to the movie. Okay. You can feel free to check out my related movie videos on Avatar. You can also feel free to leave your comments and questions in the comment section. I do love to read those. And please like and share this move video if you're watching it on Facebook or or like and subscribe if you're watching it on YouTube. And feel free to follow me on Wattpad, Tumblr, Instagram, Twitter, and DeviantArt. I do have my name for those five sites right there on the screen, as well as the pictures I use for the icons. Please note that all pictures seen within this video belong to their respected artists. I own absolutely nothing. Okay, quick reminder on my comment rules. Okay, feel free to check out my other comparison videos. And my other videos. Okay, before I sign off, two things I'd like to touch on. First off, please note that my Movie Talk Birthday Special Edition video on The Lion King and my Movie Talk videos on Van Helsing, Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters, and Spooky Buddies are exclusively on my Facebook page as of the posting of this video. They will, there will be up, re-uploaded, um, or I will be doing re-uploads of these four videos to YouTube, but it will not be until October. This is due to the fact that Van Helsing and Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters are Halloween-ish movies, while Spooky Buddies is a Halloween movie. 
So to me, it really only makes sense to do the re-uploads of those three movies in October, which is when Halloween is. Now as for The Lion King, it is a birthday special edition video. So again, it only makes sense to me to do the re-upload of that video in October, or on my actual birthday, which is happens to be in October. So, please be patient. I will get the re-uploads of those videos done. It's just going to not be until October for the reasons I gave you. Until then, you can check them out on my Facebook page. I will have the link in the description section. Also, there will be a dual posting for three of my TV Talk videos. Star Wars, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., and DreamWorks Dragons will be posted both to my Facebook page and my YouTube channel. All my other TV Talk videos will be posted strictly to my Facebook page at this point in time. If you'd like to check out any of those videos or the backlogged videos of Star Wars, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and or DreamWorks Dragons, you can feel free to check them out on my Facebook page. Again, the link is in the description section. And just to help you out, here is a list of all the TV shows I've either done TV Talk videos on or I'm currently doing TV Talk videos on. As always, thank you for watching and have a very nice day.